for giving this opportunity. Um, for today's Psalms reading, we are going to go over Psalms 77. Uh, let's all stand up and read the first 12 verses of this psalm together. Um, I think it will be displayed on the screen. No? Okay. <clears throat> we'll be going through an IV version. Uh, psalms 77. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated, and my spirit grew faint. You kept my knees, you kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I, I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my sings in I remembered my songs in the night my heart meditated and my spirit asked will the lord reject forever will he never show his favor again has his unfailing love vanished forever has his promise failed for all time has god forgotten to be merciful has he in the anger withheld his compassion then i thought to this I will appeal the ears when the Most High stretched out his right hand. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and I meditate on all your mighty deeds. Please be seated. As you all know, this song, uh, this psalm is written by Asaph, and a <clears throat> lot of people uh, today came here with uh, distress in their mind, their uncomforted heart, and today we are all ready to praise the God, even though our heart is in distress situation. Let's list out some of the distressful situations which we are going through. Maybe the falling stocks, uh, maybe step one, step two exams, maybe the RN exams which are coming through. Um, what, what else? Somebody says um, uh, obedient wife. Did I hear that? No. Um, some broken relationships with the families, with the brother and sister, with the parent and child, these broken relationships. <clears throat> All these distressful situations which we go through. Asaf is going through the same situation here. We do not know what he is going through, but whatever he is writing here tells us uh, he is completely in uh, stressful situation and now he is sitting in front of God. Like all of us, whenever we are in such a situa situation, stressful situation, what we do? Child of God first sit in front of God and talk to God about the situation. Nobody else can take away his situation and he has only hope in the God. So he sit in front of God and start praying. That's what exactly Asaf is doing here. If we look at his first three statements, I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated and my spirit grew faint. So he is in such a distressful situation that his nights are going completely sleepless. He is not able to close his eyes. His, his, uh, his sleep is taken away. Uh, his heart is in pain. Whenever he is raising his hand, he feels no connection with the God. He, uh, his prayers are returning to him empty. 
all the situation he is going through but when i when we look at uh, verses 5 and 6 now what he is doing when after he is praying to the god and his prayers are coming unanswered he starts remembering his good old days when he was fully connected with the god he was singing the songs for the god he was a worshipper in the uh, solomon's ministry he was a worship leader in the solomon's ministry so he is writing the songs he is uh, singing the songs in front of the crowd so whenever we have a worship going on there are a lot of people coming for worship with uh, uh, down in a heart down in a spirit they are low in their energy they they might have gone through um, some bad situation in the entire week but it is a uh, worship leaders responsibility to uh, tell in in this situation also god can keep you uh, be encouraged in this situation and sing for the god with your full heart this is the work of the worship leader and it doesn't matter what condition he himself is in but his situation when he is worshiping here is to encourage the entire crowd give them hope and uh, encourage them for worshiping with the god now uh, being a worship leader he is in this situation his heart is uh, in the pain he is going through this situation uh, what we what a uh, child of god does in this situation he, he starts asking questions to the god so he he is not the only one in this situation every one of us goes through this situation nobody is spared right so if we look at some of the um, some of the example from bible itself um, if we look at the job life of job he says in the job 7:6 that my days are swifter than a waver's shuttle and my, and they come to an end without hope my life will never experience happiness again so job being a child of god he had a fav- god's favor on him but he also went through this situation of uh, unhappiness and uh, uh, talking to god one on one about his situation if we uh, job also says uh, if i searched in the east but god was not there if i if i have not found him i searched him in the west god has been at work in the north and south but i still have not seen him <clears throat> if we look at the habakkuk habakkuk also went through the situation and habakkuk 1 2 he says oh lord how long must i call for your help before you listen right he is going on calling god for help but he do not listen the word from god if we look at the elijah in the first king 19 he says elijah is also going through this distressful situation uh, he says to the lord i have had enough lord he said take my life and finally if we look at the jesus in his human form he also says uh, why have you forsake, forsaken me god so every one goes through this situation nobody is spared if a lot of you have seen this situation in your life if you haven't seen uh, you will surely be going through this situation and this psalm gives us hope when we are in this situation this is the hope which we have from uh, god in the distressful situation so uh, when when we are in such a situation uh, some of the questions which we start asking god as of also ask questions here to the god uh, <clears throat> will the lord reject forever <clears throat> will god reject me forever that's the fear uh, as of has in his uh, heart but uh, bible tells us no god will not reject you forever in lamentations 3 we read the lord is merciful and will not reject us forever he may bring us sorrow but his love for us is sure and strong nothing happens in our life without god's permission whenever 
we see our doors are closed all the doors are closed all the opportunities are closed that is happening with the permission of god he is in the full knowledge of your situation and it is with the god's permission when you are going through long sickness when you are in the grief when you are going through a lot of challenges in your life whatever happens in the life we need to willingly accept that situation because it is coming from the will of god he god gave permission and that's where that situation uh, come came to you right if we go to the next second question from asaf will he never show his favor again <clears throat> so uh, will he never show his favor again uh, if we look at the sam 35 if uh, the bible tells us that his favor last for lifetime asaf is asking god and bible itself gives answer to him his favor last for lifetime pain may come in the night but morning comes with the joy and rejoicing so so your heart might be in the pain in the night but god always gives you that joy and rejoicing in the morning the third question which asaf ask here has his unfailing love vanished forever the answer is no jeremiah 31 uh, 3 says people of israel i always loved you so i continue to show you my con- constant love your god's love never ends it is forever for the child of god as of question is has his unfailing love vanished forever bible tells as of no god's love remain forever as of also asked the fourth question has his promise failed for all the time no the if we look at the first king 8 26 it tells us not one promise has failed of all his wonderful promises he gave Right? his promises never fails in second corinthians we see no matter how many promises god gave they all are yes in the jesus christ promises will never change never fail our god is unchanging god the promise he has done to the abraham he has fulfilled it he that was there 2 3000 years before but today also he is fulfilling his promises which he has given to you he is same uh, yesterday today and tomorrow his promises never fails it is a unchanging god <coughs> he moves on to the fifth question to the god has god forgotten to be merciful the answer is no isaiah 49 says can a woman forget her own baby and not love a child he bore even if a mother should forget her child i will never forget you god sh- god says i will never forget you uh, that's the question to the ass of question ass of ask has god forgotten me to be merciful god has never forgotten you more than your mother god remembers you he never forgets you his your name is written on the god's palm and whenever he looks at it he remembers you the last question from asaf is has he in anger withheld his compassion no the lamentation 3 tells us the lord's unfailing love and mercy still continues lord's love is unfailing and it is for you forever so that's the questions of asaf and the bible gives him the clear answers of what his what the situation he is going through right um now um, <coughs> from the verse 1 to uh was 1 to 12 if we see collectively uh asaf is talking about his own problem to the god i am in the problem i am having sleepless nights i, I everything about me my i and now 
what asaf is uh, after not hearing from the god for long time he starts remembering his own life he starts remembering his um, god's promises uh, in the past whatever god has done in the past in his life from uh, from verses 13 to the 20 we see he praises god he remembers the uh, uh, the red sea partition which we, which god did god walked ahead of all the israelites and uh, uh, made the way clear to them and these are all the uh, wonderful uh, miracles which god did uh, as of his as of started remembering it uh, then what happens when uh, when asaf starts remembering all the god's miraculous words in his life he starts feeling his problem as a less god is a bigger when uh, earlier he was when he was pray, uh, uh, praying he was thinking his problem is very big and he was not thinking about god and uh, when he started thinking about miraculous works of god his problem became very Uh, short and god became a uh, big and that's what we uh, when we sit and pray that's what we uh, go through um, our problem become uh, shorter and god becomes bigger god uh, god wants to uh, our situation doesn't change our problem doesn't change we uh, the problem is there situation is there but the perspective which we are looking at now uh, we are looking at the bigger god that perspective changed so god changed our mind he doesn't change our situation the situation stays there but our mind changes right whenever we uh, uh, start praying to the god whenever we sit in the presence of god whenever we uh, raise our hand uh, to see the connection from the god that's where our uh, our thinking about our problem starts changing right the, i'm going to sing in the middle of the storm and up from the ashes the hope will arise when 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 we we'll, when we will raise a hallelujah when we will start uh, praising about him then then the hope will come to us that's the hope which we are seeking in our distressful situation right uh, our uh, step one exam will be clear steps to exam will be clear when we are uh, situated in the stressful situation the 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 situation where, where we are going through the uh, long sickness we are we come out of trim, tumor situation we come out of all the uh, sleepless nights when we sit and uh, pray in front of god a lot of people are going through uh, a stressful situation today uh, when we think about our situation uh, we will be having um, pain in our heart but when we look at the god all of our situations will go uh, uh, will go less than what uh, god is the god's promises never fail god's love is forever and that's where this uh, this sam is giving us hope and comfort in our life um, may god bless you with this words well